Hello students, welcome to Career Shield 16. In this video, we're going to take you through the entire uh, stream of from 99.99 percentile to 97 percentile, what rank you'll get and what kind of NITs, IIITs and any college that is going through the JOSA counseling you'll be likely to get based on your percentile to the rank to the college and branch that you'll get. Let me explain to you with data. First of all, as I told you very clearly, this is all about what percentile you got to what rank you will get based on the percentile and the kind of college. And if you want greater detail of the kind of percentile to rank kind of a thing, please look at a part one video that we already done. Right? Now, just to put things in perspective all over again, in this year, 24 Jan session, e evening session seems to be the easiest of the lot. Because there you actually got students who got the most number of scores, the best scores. Like the highest was 260 at 99.9 percentile. Right, and at 99 percentile, the highest was 200. Right, so we're dealing with a 260 to 200 kind of a rank range for 99.9 percentile to 90 percent, 99 percentile. Right, now the most difficult paper, what I what we saw is on the 28th Jan in the morning session, right, where the highest was 2 over 4 only. Right, if you notice all these numbers across the 10 sessions, this has the lowest score. And it obviously goes down to where at 99 percentile you actually have 148. So now if you compare between the 24th Jan evening session to 28th Jan morning session, the difference between these two is 52 marks. Right, at 99 percentile. At 99 percentile, you actually have the total difference between two sessions being 52 marks, which is the biggest gap that you see. And the same thing is happening here also, where the difference here is 46 marks right so that is a is something that you need to understand that it is not just a score that gets you a great percentile but relatively in that particular batch depending on the difficulty level of the paper the moderate level of the paper how many marks the others are likely to score and that would always determine the kind of percentile that you will get and this very clearly demonstrates what we actually told you now the next part of it right what rank should you expect based on the percentile? So we no longer talking about the score versus rank. We are talking about the percentile to the rank. Because score, as I explained to you earlier, doesn't really matter because it depends on how that particular session had gone, right? Now, once we understand that, at a percentile to rank, what will we do? Here we are expecting, this year in Jan 2025 session, about 12.58 lakh students took the test. 12.58. So you can safely expect that by the time the April session also comes, you will actually have 14 lakh plus minus 50,000 students who are taking the test. Based on the last year's numbers, we expect that to be a 14 lakh plus or minus 50,000. Now, if you were to have that, the rank range that we're talking about is 14 lakh plus minus 50,000 and what rank you'll get in different percentile. So, at 99.9 percentile, you'll get a rank range of 1330 to 1470. At 99.7 percentile, you'll get a rank range of 3990 to 4410. At 99.5 percentile, by the way, all this is for general category. We are not talking of the reserved category yet, right? At 99.5 percentile, your rank would be between 6,650 to 7,350. At 99 percentile, it's 13,300 to 14,700, right? And it keeps going down to 96.5, where your rank would be between 46,550 to 51,450. So you actually can see the rank range. I'm leaving it here so that you can actually see this and understand for yourself where you will fit in and what kind of rank you're likely to get based on the kind of percentile that you got. Right. Now, the next step is at these rank ranges, what colleges will you get? And that is very crucial for you, right? So what, I'll take you through that piece also. The first thing that we did was we said, okay, if the percentile is between 99.9 .9 to 99.7 percentile, which means your rank range, what I showed you earlier, is between 1400 to 4200. Between 1400 to 4200. If you have to ha have this kind of a percentile and the rank range would be that, at NIT Trichy, you will get BTEC CSC because it's at 1224. Right? And you know, we are also giving some kind of a measure here so that you will still be able to go through this. So here we are talking about the best branch and the highest cutoff that you have, which is 1224 for uh, NIT Trichy. But BTEC CSE is 3456, which fits into this rank range. Right. 
and BTEC production engineering is the highest that this uh, NIT Trichy has where in BTEC production engineering a student who got 24,286 also could get a seat. So if you got, want to get into NIT Trichy, you are likely to get ECE, you will still have some kind of a chance of getting into BTEC CAC, right? And for sure the last rank that you know NIT Trichy has is 24,286. NIT Suratkal, you will get it at, because it's the rank range is 1,615, right? NIT Varangal, you will get CSC at 2 because the rank range is highest rank is 2,186. NIT Rurkala is 2,940 and MNIT Ilahabad is 4,191. Now, this is by the way all outside the state. Within the home state category, remember, you will most likely this rank range, CSC, anyone would get it within the home state. This is outside the state category, which means all India quota is what we are talking about. Right, and then Suratkal, you will also get EC for sure at three because the rank range is 3871. Mathematics and computing in NIT Varankal at 3436, you will get it. BTEC artificial intelligence 3983, and so on and so forth. So, even within this thing also at 4191 CSE, obviously, we told you already about it, right? So, essentially, what we're dealing with is the but for NIT Trichy, possibly at this rank range, you will get all the other NITs. For NIT Trichy, you need to have 19.95 or 99.94 kind of numbers, which is when you will be like, you will like to get it, right? But this is what it is. Now, moving to the next level. If we had to get a rank range percentile of 99.7 to 99.5 percentile, 99.7 to 99.5 percentile, your rank range between, is, would be between 4200 to 7000. Right. At this rank range, 4200 and above, right, you will get NIT Calicut because the closing rank here was 4482 last year. MNIT Jaipur, the closing rank was 4711 and we are talking of CSE at this point in time. BNIT Nagpur, you will get 4 because the rank range is 5795 and NIT Kurukshetra at 6000, right. So because it's all above 4200, what you notice, it will come, right. And further going forward, the lowest closing rank with this range is obviously 6838 for ECE, Artificial Engineering and Data 5514, CSC for 5795 and BTEC uh, and MTEC CSC, the integrated program at 6827 at NIT right? And of course in the same colleges, the lowest possible rank for any branch is in NIT Calicut at Biotechnology at 35922. Metal metallurgical is 36965 and this you will understand why I am saying because the lowest possible rank for a branch that possibly is not so much in demand at that NIT. Now the next part, if you have to do the rank range of 19.5 to 99.2, right, here the rank would be between 7000 and 11200 and if you have to have that, you are you will get SLV NIT Surat at uh, you know 7113 because it's after 7000 rank, NIT Jamshedpur and we talk of CSE branch at this point in time. NIT Delhi because it's 8018. Triple IT Gwalior at 8044. NIT Durgapur because of 8765. MANIT Bhopal at 8830. Triple IT Lucknow at 9384. PEC Chandigarh at 10498. And NIT Jalandhar at 10957. Again, I repeat, this is for the non home state quota. Home state quota obviously will be much better and within the home state you are likely to get into anything that you have if you have a decent rank range, right? And going further in the same things, you will also have BTEC and MTEC AI with at 10,721 and it can keep going on but this is a larger list and within the same NIT, the highest and any branch that you want to get into with the, within that NIT, this is the kind of rank range which essentially is about 97 percentile, 96 percentile, right? But Broadly, you got get an idea of which NIT you will get at this rank range of 7000 to 11200, right? And by the way, some of these programs are very good. If you look at this BTEC Mathematics and Scientific Computing, it's very, very good at this point in time for AI. You don't need to study AI if you do Mathematics and Scientific Computing. And this branch is also taking off. So you must keep a very close watch on some of these kind of branches like this one is very good integrated right so you must keep a uh, watch on some of the new emerging branches which might not be in demand last year but would be extremely in demand this year because ai is really becoming the big thing out here right now if you were to go beyond that to 99.2 to 99 percentile what happens the rank range here would be 11200 to 14000 and here you'll get nit silchar because of 11930 nit hamirpur at 12236 NIT Goa at 12,511 
and NAT Raipur at 31,177. And moving further, you know, lowest closing rank range, of course, you know, you already have CSE at 11,930. BTEC Mathematics and Computing 13,990. These are very good branches you must look at. I already told you. And the lowest closing, if you want to study in Goa only or any of these things, these are the branches and BTEC Civil Engineering at 45,391, Material Science at 46,742. This you can actually see that. Now, if you go further and say, Okay, the percentile is not, you know, below 99 percentile. So, we're dealing with 99 to 98.5 percentile, where your rank range is between 14,000 to 21,000. Because now we suddenly opened up to a 4.5 percentile gap. So, here also the rank range opened up to 14,000 to 21,000. When you deal with that, in NIT Patna you will get, because 14,442 is the number. IES to Shibupur at 14,006, because all these are above 14,000. Jabalpur uh, you will get. Bidla, Bits Misra you'll get, this is a very good college by the way, you keep looking at that. NIT Uttarakhand you'll get and Shyama Prasad Mukherjee and Raipur you'll get at 18,000. And a similar thing also happens here where I keep talking of the other branches that are there, right? And then further going down because we're talking of the 14,000 to uh, you know 21,000 which is the 99 to 98.5 percentile, the other college you'll get is Triple AT Pune CSE at 8 because 18,000 to which is within the range. NIT Karekal at 18,515, NIT Andhra Pradesh at 18,548, NIT Kanchipuram, NIT Meghalaya and NIT Agartala because all these are within the rank range but of course if you are getting you know 98.5 maybe you will not be able to get this because the rank would be about 20,000 and all but if you get between these two right which essentially is be around 98.7, 98 98.8 percentile you will <laughs> likely to get into CSC branch in any of these colleges right and then the other data also follows because we are still talking of how you can get into any of these triple ITs and all and you will see BTEC EC at 23,592 and so on and so forth, you will actually follow that. Now the next thing which is the rank range of 98.5 to 98 percentile, right? When you look at that, the rank range would be between 21,000 to 28,000, right? And this, if you want to still do CSE or, uh, or anything like that or within a specialization, you will get triple IT Vadodara, NIT Srinagar, Triple IT Bhopal, Triple IT Kota, right? Triple IT Surat, Triple IT Sri City. This is a very good uh, thing that's coming up now. Triple IT Nagpur and JNU Delhi. In all these things, you will see that the rank range is about 21,000, going up to 27,936 in JNU. So this is a decent chance for you if you want to do CSE. But if you want to do anything beyond CSE also, na, you actually have the scores here also, where obviously there is a massive jump here. For example, this one. Metallurgical is 55,447. By the way, some of you who are looking at uh, BTEC, uh, CSE and all, please look at information technology also because that's a very good branch and it's got a very short, short job prospect and a very good uh, pay also. Right. And then you have ECE across the board and those kind of things. You can look at them. Right. Now go further down because you also have some of these beyond NIT is also working on that. But let's talk of that uh, in, in, the, uh, in this segment. The 98 to 97.5 percentile, where the rank range is between 28,000 to 35,000. You will get NIT Sikkim, Triple IT Pune, NIT Arunachal Pradesh, Sonepur, Trichy, and Manipur. Because the rank range here again, you see, is for CSEs 28,284, 28,335, 514, 994, 28, and 29,303 and 30,611. So you actually still have a chance of doing CSC in any of these NITs if your rank range is between 98 to 97.5 percentile. Outside the home state quota, all India quota. Home state, you will definitely, definitely get it. If it's outside the home state, you still have a chance. Here. And then we also linked out the other branches here. You can look at them. Very good. And by the way, the other set of colleges that you still get are, you know, if you look at it, you have Triple IT Bhuvaneshwar also, you will get it, CSE, because the rank range is 31,000. NIT Nagaland at 31,391 for CSE. Triple IT Kutayam at 32,727 rank range, which is within the rank range. Triple IT uh, Karnool at 32,761, Triple IT Vadodara at 32,396, and Triple IT Ranji at 31,336. So you actually have a decent chance of getting into any of these things based on the kind of percentile you have. And then we also listed out, I'm not reading out the numbers, please access that here. You actually have all the data here. Please look at that and you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. Now the next rank, which is the 97.5 to 97 percentile rank, right? If you look at that, the rank range would be between 35,000 to 42,000. And when you have those kind of thing, you will get, you know, Triple uh, IT Dharwad because rank here is 37,419 or Triple IT Agartala 
now so we moved on from nits now to triple it is you noticed so very clearly nits are the possibly the most preferred and then comes triple it is for all that you know but if you want to do csc i strongly suggest and recommend that please look at uh, the triple it is they might actually have stand a better chance in terms of placement then you have triple it agartala at 39356 triple it bhagalpur 39481 triple it kalyani at 39991 and triple it amdavad at 40078 right no between because the fall between the 35000 to 40000 you will actually get into any of these things right and then you also have other branches which is ece and all which you can easily get recommend that you please look at the data yourself to understand what are the other branches to still have any doubt please use the career 360 college predictor just input your rank or your percentile it will tell you the rank and based on the rank it will also recommend tell you what college you like to get into across all uh, you know triple it's nits and every single college that is participating through the josa counseling then we went out to the last uh, lab which is the 97 percentile to 96.5 percentile where the rank range is between 42000 to 49000 here you actually get bilanso technology patna at 45956 puducherry technology university at uh, 48000 and central university rajasthan ajmer at 49000 and here for the lowest uh, branch you actually have about 75000 also going in which is i don't know whether you want to do it my suggestion my recommendation is please go and use the college predictor of career 360 search for career 360 college predictor you will find that there you just input your percentile it will tell you what rank you will get if you input your exact percentile it will tell you the range within which you will get a rank and after that post that it will also tell you based on the rank what colleges what branches you will get in and you can also filter it based on saying i want to do only this branch or i want to study on only these colleges or i want to study in these colleges within this area or this zone or this city or this state and those kind of things so you actually can segregate and by the way there you will also have not just general category but any category can use that because we actually have cutoffs for every single category gender based caste caste based community based everything you have that state home quota non home home state quota all the data you have please use that and you will understand that much better i just hope this helps you if you want me to do any other video which will help you decide for yourself please feel free comment below the video i will be more than happy to have my research team research it completely and come back to you with more data thank you so much namaste